Hello and welcome to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. Uh, in this scenario, actually, this is more of a demo of features found in the Google My Maps uh, tool, um, where you can actually load a list of addresses to create a custom map uh, layer. And I've gotten questions about this uh, on the channel, as we have a number of other videos that are about integrating Google Maps, in, Maps inside Excel. This is kind of going the other way. We're going to load our Excel data to to Google Maps. So this really isn't about Excel functionality, but I think you'll find it interesting. So I have a list of uh, addresses and fictional client names, and I've just created an Excel file called My Clients. So uh, I'll go ahead and save that to my desktop. I've done that already. I'm just going to save and close. And uh, go to my web browser, where I'll go to uh, google.com forward slash maps and then about and then My Maps. So that kind of takes you to the start screen of uh, my maps now if you're logged on to uh, your gmail account and you just actually do a google search for my maps you'll get here so uh, don't worry so much about the specific url because you can just search google for my maps okay uh, i'm going to go ahead from the start screen and click get started and i'm going to choose the option at the top that says uh, create a new map now, right now i'm not showing any maps i have no maps saved so uh, i'll choose create a new map um, and so it'll refresh the screen and you can you know you could like name it maybe I'll call it my clients or something you can add a description we'll say um, clients in uh, Chicago loop and uh, I'll, I'll click save so that's my description my title and my description and then uh, you can create multiple layers for different data in the same map so I'm just gonna have this one layer where I'll import my addresses. So we see where it says untitled layer, and of course you could name that too. Maybe it's just, um, maybe we'll, we'll call this like, uh, you know, maybe these are clients in financial services, so financial services. So maybe I have a financial services clients layer, maybe I have a manufacturing layer, a marketing layer, so maybe it's, you know, customers in different uh, industries could be different layers so you can organize that however you want I'll just call it financial services and then uh, where, where it says import we'll go ahead and click and you can drag over a CSV file an Excel file or a map file from another map application and you can upload it or grab it directly from Google Drive I'm going to click select file from your computer and right on my desktop I've got my my clients and choose open and that's going to load it and so it'll go through and look at your column headings and uh, it gives you sort of a little interview uh, here to ask you what your data is or where your data can be found in your file so initially it wants to know where uh, are the columns that tell us where the the markers go so these could be addresses or lat long pairs so I'm gonna click on my check mark for my address column that's where my addresses are I'll click continue and next it wants to know how to label or title the markers on the map so I wanted to put the client name which was part of that Excel file and I only had those two columns so address and client name I'll click finish and it will import the data and plot the results onto a map so we can see my four client names are um, listed here under this layer called financial services um, and they are on the map with the markers now right now when I highlight or hover the markers all that really happens is it highlights the name in my list here in my map legend uh, but what I'll do is um, uh, first I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna click the little uh, little indicator or little menu button here on the right and I'm gonna go to where it says open data table so what's kinda nice is you get to actually see the data right here in the map application I don't really have to go and do something separate in Excel I can do it right here and make changes okay so you know um, if instead if this company's name was really the other firm rather than that firm I could do that you know I can make that change and we'll see that uh, real time inside the map so that's pretty cool okay so now as you click on the different um, the different um, selections in the list then you'll get that full label uh, that you see so it's got the name of the company it's got the address 
and of course you could do things like you could you know change the style you know you might want to add you know different background color or something to the um, to the marker you could change the icons so you have you know icons that represent different things there's a house you know um, there's a, a car icon or uh, I think it looks like a vehicle um, it's pretty small actually let me zoom in okay I'll click back on XYZ There we go. Yeah, so uh, maybe that's just like a sh uh, shopping bag or something. But you get the idea. You can sort of modify uh, what the icon looks like. And, you know, you can kind of hop around to the different um, icons that you have. Now, another thing that's kind of cool is, so let's say I knew I needed to visit all four of these clients on a given day. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, tell the map tool to, you know, plot out my, uh, my, my, my driving, my path, my direction. So I'm going to click... Uh, Add directions, um, and so it initially put you know ABC Corp as the starting point simply because that's the first one in the list. So then, if I start typing X, Y, it actually shows me from my list. Now of course, there's other companies named X, Y, etc. in Google's database, but the ones that are from my map uh, data source come to the top. So I can continue to add destinations uh, from. Uh, from my list and now I've got driving directions to all the clients uh, so th this is great if you you know if you're visiting a different uh, city uh, it's one that you're not familiar with or even if it's one you are familiar with you just want to make sure you've got the most efficient path um, so that's kind of cool you can sort of put that in and see now what your route will be to these different uh, to these different clients so if I were to start at ABC Corp uh, down here um, then I'm going to go all the way uh, up north to XYZ come back down south to C and a little bit further east a little bit north to uh, D the other firm so that's how you load uh, maps uh, or addresses into a custom map layer in Google Maps uh, if you have any more questions about it or you want to see me do something else, else with it let me know uh, just leave me a comment on the channel uh, please like the video if you found it interesting and please subscribe so you'll be alerted when we add new uh, new videos to the channel. Thanks for your attention. Have a great day. Peace.